This formation is the new meta. Beautiful people, what's happening? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. First off, in the comments, what formation or formations are you currently using? I'm about to give you an unusual choice from yours truly, and then the tactics that go with it. You see the squad on screen. It's nothing extraordinary. We got some premium players, but it's pretty normal weekend league team, in my opinion. And Messit's been getting busy, and he's gonna continually get busy. If you haven't dropped a like on the video, high key appreciate it. This is that reminder. Also, touch that bell, ring it, talk to it. Ding a 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 ding a. Are we talking four five one? Not today. Custom tactics right into the rip. Four, three, two, one. A formation, typically speaking, I'm not very good at utilizing. And that just tells you how overpowered it's got. Bit out of control. As for the tactics of pressure on heavy touch, which in general, having this automated pressure or instant pressure has been a transitional period with the latest patch. With Somewhat narrow with the 40 depth for playing aggressive. I like balance and direct passing. I'm not mad if you shift some of these around. You can play less aggressive and have the defensive style unbalanced. Even with the build up play, there is fluctuation of interpretation here. I like balanced, but I haven't played a ton of slow build up. I know that's possible. Fast build up, I'm not looking to, to utilize that. And long ball is for some, but it's just not for me. I like to have a little bit of the build up, maybe more of a traditionalist. Once you go long ball, they just shoot forward. Same with chance creation. I go direct passing, that's been my bread and butter, but forward runs will also work, especially if you're going direct, and this formation has the ability to be direct. With on a 43, I saw that on Neil's video, so I said, why not? You like 43, Neil? I'll run a 43. It's not really gonna make a big difference if you're 40, 43, 45. You can name some numbers to insert there. This is the squad and the positioning. So we have Neymar, Cantona, Mesut, The Wiz, Ozil. OR, Sadorf, and Bernardo Silva. And it is worth mentioning, offensively, this formation has this 4-3-2-1, but on the defensive end, you're trying to kind of reshape where you have more of a 4-4-2. You might've seen pro players discussing this. You may have seen videos or live streams, but that is the concept or the premise of the formation. A big part of it, at least, is having this slight shift. You turn it a little bit. And that's gonna be done via those instructions. So up front, I've got Cantona and Neymar, where I'm thinking of these two guys being my main attackers or my main strikers so they're playing a big role there both of them getting in behind they're staying central i've got ozil staying central getting in behind but now he's coming back on defense and that helps you for the defensive shape remember we're looking at potentially shifting this into more of a 4-4-2 offensive completely different but defensive that's the situation silva i'm going to use him as my more offensive mid out of the grouping here so we have balance get into the box for the cross cover center he's still pushing forward pushing onward and we don't always go over every instruction because we've seen so many teams that i've created and remade and replicated that the instructions and tactics don't necessarily shift dramatically this is a different situation sadorf staying back edge of the box this would be your main holding mid you can pick and choose them for me i don't really have this dedicated holding mid so sadorf's the guy he's getting that job whether he wants it or not OR into the box we go another balanced and I actually kind of left him alone I have him covering the wing there could be some altering there and I'm trying out something new again I saw this on Neil guides video and I'll link it down below Neil and I don't always agree on some of the tactical approaches and just gameplay functionality which is pretty normal there's always a lot of room for discussion but he likes staying back while attacking which is normal and overlapping which is also normal but then I've been experimenting with conservative interceptions and does that actually make a difference so that's what we're gonna run for the game today speaking of those games it is that time remember to let me know formations in the comment section might even do a follow-up video but i know for a fact already the 4321 is strong and often it mismatches so many formations you end up in a lot of mirror matchups because people just don't know what to do how to deal with it i ran into that problem in multiple drafts first game i see team of the year i see rudiger i see mbappe let's go Come on, Mike. The game done changed. Okay. Hey, that was mistimed as like. Why? Why would he go like that? Do you see where my player's position? What a save. Just don't like the shift of this game. 67% possession. Just holding the ball. Thank you. On the board, finally. 
Oh, it's close. It's very close. Ah! Come on! Good pressure play. Sweaty opener. 2 1 and ET. I E A trash FIFA, something like that. I don't know what I'm dealing with yet. I don't know yet, Hevs. Come on, that has to be something. Finish! There we are. But you see, the Elastico was brilliant. Play him. Beautiful. Good touch. And the dink? Gorgeous. Chip life has gotten the full return. They got a little more emphasis. They get over a lot of the goalkeepers. There's just more situations that it works. And we have our first rage quit of the campaign. BSP FC. Mbappe always makes me nervous, no matter the version. The record's 2-0. Oh. Uh, Cal, you got the wrong record. There you go. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. More momentum, baby. Silva. Oh. Ozil, look at the split and the chip life. Oh, that was a goal. We count those. Oh, wow. That's lucky. Uh, if we can get more bounces like that, I'll always take them. Because we're at halftime. We got two goals. We really need to not set up shop, but we don't have to push the agenda the same way. That's in there. <clears throat> Top corner is the best corner. Right when Messi opened up his body as my camera went off. No idea why the camera went off, but my voice is there. Oh! That is as gangster as they come. Kareem the Dream, Dirty Greek. Not a clean Greek. I might be playing George Jr. here. I saw Maldini on the back end. Disclaimer, the camera is acting a fool. Okay. Backed off of Ozil, not this version. That's boards. The name are catch and finish. Instant rebuttal. Poor defense took my uh, focus a little off. Mess it! Mess it! Mess it! Yo, that's mad unlucky. That is so freaking unlucky. Penalty, that's how you walk into a slide tackle, that's great. Did I just put that over? You got a red card, what just happened? Hello. Extra pass was needed, Bernardo filled the lane, proper, proper. Terrible defense. Get in there. Yup! I'm telling you, the Wiz really steps into space. My camera's off during that moment! Come on, man! That's a tutorial. One more. Oh, a little trash action. Oh! We had a goal fest, at least in a couple of those matchups. And that's what this formation also offers. The game can get away relatively quickly. And even more so, if your opponent is not a possession player, he's trying to play fast, you will have opportunities. You will have counterattacks. You have the chance for interceptions. We got busy with the get busy. I was happy that Messit, the Wiz, was doing his thing. Uh-huh. 10 games now for the club. 11 goals, 8 assists. The guy is expressive. You still have that access point where the Wiz has the vision, but now he's a goal-scoring threat. It's undeniable. Cantona, I keep getting asked about him. Pick up any version and you're going to be a happy camper. He's one of those exceptions to the rules where you have a player that's fast, yet strong, yet agile, that can dribble, has the touches, can score, can finish, skill moves, all of the above. It's also been nice to reinsert Bernardo Silva, who it's been a minute. It's a player that I really rate. 
great from the very beginning of the game. But in the last month, month and a half, he, he rarely gets playing time because he's not an ideal super sub. So you have to start him. And if you're not starting him, then he ends up going into the reserves often. But that's where I'll wrap this up. If you have questions about the formation, the tactics, or the squad, put those down below in the comments, of course. We can stir that up, a little chef dirty. But I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP. And if you want to watch live, twitch.tv slash Mike LaBelle.